Okay, Sandra, you're the internet director for a high volume internet department, single point Chevy dealership in Indiana. And today we're going to do some internet director training with you specifically. I want to teach you about one on one and extracting information, you know, uh, from your CRM or your three minute book to help evolve your individual employees on a one on one basis. Make sense? Yes. Okay, so we're not going to mention the coordinator's name, just to protect her privacy, but it is a female. What we're going to do is we're going to track the last 90 days, not including May, which we're in May 2000. 12. So we're going to go through February, March, and April. Okay. okay? So in February, um, write this down. The, uh, made. Okay. Uh, she had 156 leads, correct? Mm -hmm. So 156 leads. She made 2,459 phone calls. Um, out of those, she set 77 appointments. 46.5 showed up and delivered 16.5. Okay, and then she had 20 working days in February. Right? Yep. Okay, so now March. She had 166 leads. She um, made 3,156 phone calls, 85 sets, 56 shows, and 16 deliveries with 21 working days in the month. Okay? Got it. Okay, now what we're going to do is April. April, she had 134 leads. Okay, she had uh, 2,380 phone calls, mm -hmm. 62 sets, 31 and a half um, showed an eight and a half deliveries okay but with only 18 working days okay so now what I want to do is where's the calculator okay you're gonna go grab a calculator okay now just while Sandra's getting a calculator what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at these numbers now what we want to be able to do is drill down through these numbers and identify the productivity. Obviously, in February, um, she made less. She had less leads, but she made a lot less phone calls than she did in March. But that's why, obviously, she went from you know 16.5 to uh, 16 solds. That doesn't really make much sense because if you look at April's, she had roughly about the same amount of phone calls as she did in February, but she sold half the amount of units. Okay, so just at a quick glance, none of these numbers make sense. They're just a bunch of numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to track. Okay, perfect. Okay, so come down here. What I want you to do is I want you to sit down, mm -hmm. and we're going to do some math. All right? So let's start with April. Okay. Actually, no, we'll start with February. All right? Okay. Start with February. Take the 2,459 phone calls, right? Mm -hmm. Divide it by 20 days. Okay. Average is how many? 122.95. Okay, good. So the first thing she did well, she she made the right amount of phone calls because the quota is 120 make or take. She made 122, correct? Okay, yeah. Okay, now, if you turn around and you take 2,459, okay, that's the how many phone calls she made, times 0.14. That should be a 14% connection ratio. Which says? Say again? 344. Okay, so that's 344 connections. Now, out of the 344 connections times 0.25, should be a 25% conversion 86. rate. 86. So she should have, if she did the typical um, appointment made ratio, hit 86. She is at 77. So that's the first lost opportunity mark. So check that. Okay. So basically, again, you didn't track the variable of how many connections she has. So we don't know if she's not connected enough or she's not setting the right amount of appointments. Does that make sense? Okay. Because now, that's is that that far off considering that in the calls there might be confirmations for appointments and canceled appointments? Absolutely. That's okay. why it's now follow me. That's why it's only 25%. Okay. okay, okay. Okay. So now let's go back. But that's, it could get even worse because let's do it this way. Let's turn around and, and, and factor in, let's do it again. 2,459, mm -hmm. right, times 0.33. 811. Okay. Now let's go back one more time. I want to do something a little bit different. Take the 2,459, right? Mm -hmm. Times 0 0.14. Let's start there. All right? 344. Okay, 344. Now do times 0 0.33. 113. Okay. okay, so 113. So I apologize. What you want to do is this. She had 77 set. Basically, if she had the right amount of conversions, which she, which she should which is only a 14% connection mm -hmm. ratio. If she made 25% of the appointments of the connections, she would have had, what, 86. If she made 33% of the appointments, she would have made, what, 100, 
Say again? 113. 113. So I, I would circle this right there. So there's a huge opportunity from actually making the appointments. In my opinion, she's at least anywhere from, you know, should she be between 86 and 113 versus 77? So she's way light in actually making appointments. Now, okay. from there, the appointments show. Now, take the 77 that she has here times 0.66. 50. Okay, 50. Okay, she's only slightly over, she, uh, under. She's supposed to be at, uh, at 50, but she's at 46.5. So it's a little bit under, but it's not as serious of a gap as, as the actual making appointments, right? Okay. Now, 46.5 times uh, 0.50. 23.5. Okay. 23 and a half. Okay, so again, but that's not her fault. Yeah. That has to do with the dealership, but you're underperforming there. So the two variables that I see right off the bat as a manager that's an issue is what? The set and sold. The set and sold. What does she have control over? The set. Okay, so then we've got that, that ratio there. Let's go to the next month, okay? okay. Um, you've got, uh, let's just see, 3,156. Times f uh, 14, right? No, 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 no. Divided by 21 days. Oh, let's start okay. there. 150. Okay, wow. So in the friggin' month of, of uh, March, she averaged 150 phone calls a day. Okay, that's awesome. Now, let's just use the number. Out of 3,156 times 0.14, that's a 14% connection ratio. Okay. 441. Okay, it's 441 connections times 0.25. 110. Okay, so at minimum, she had a 110 set, right? Now, let's turn around and, and do that number again. Let's go through... The 3,156 times 0.14. I'm sorry, times 0.14? Yes, that's a 14% connection ratio. 441. Okay, times 0.33. Okay, is? 145. Let's put that down. So, again, let's go over what does she have? 85 set. Oh, she has 85 set at a 25% appointment confirmation, um, appointment set ratio should be at 110. At 33, should be 145. Do you see there's a huge difference between 85 and 145? Yes. Huge opportunity. Yes. Now, let's base on this, though. Um, out of the 85% set times 0. 0.62. 85 times 0. 0.62? Mm -hmm. 52. So 52. So, But look, she had more than a 62% show ratio. Yes. So she did great there, right? Yes. Okay, so that's good. Now, 56 you know, uh, times 0. 0.50. 28. Okay, 28. Way short. Now, that's twice. Yeah. We're having a serious discrepancy on the show and floor. So with this type of data, even though you're doing a one-on-one -on -one analyzation of your individual coordinator, yeah. I would escalate this to your general manager or the dealer principal and say, listen, we got to talk. You know, here's what I'm finding in my research. We're coming in, but we're absolutely not converting the show and floor. So what the general sales manager or the sales manager needs to do from direction from the GM or from the dealer is find out, okay, all these people that are coming from the internet, why aren't they closing? And, and then you need to identify what that is and be able to overcome that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. I could do the rest of the ladies for you. You guys are good to go. If oh, it's open, I'll sign her. Sign her. Okay, in. perfect. Um, if not, we can finish it tomorrow. Mm. All right, now, that's a problem. Now, let's go through April and see how this turns out, okay? So I'm doing the, can I just try to see if I can do it myself? Yeah, go ahead. Show me, tell me what, walk me through it so we can hear it. What are you doing? Calls times okay. the day she worked, which we said was 18. But, wait, what am I doing? Yeah. No, divided. Ah, duh. Say it out loud. The call she made for the month divided by the day she worked. Which the numbers out that was 2380 divided by 18 days, days equals. We're at 132 calls per day. Okay, so she has 132 calls per day. Times 14%? Yes, 0.14. Yeah. That's 185, it says, right? What does it say? No, hold on a second. 18, no, let's do it again. All right, so I'm doing 2380 divided by 18. Mm -hmm. Put this at 132. Okay, so that's separate. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the 2380 okay. times... 0.14. Okay. 3.33? Okay, so that's 3.33. Now, uh, now times 0.25, which is a 25% is a closing ratio. 83. Okay, that's 83. And she had how many? 62. Whew. Okay, now let's go back to that number again. Take the, the number of phone calls, right? And just okay. so we're explaining this again, you take the 2380, because she made 2,380 phone calls. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to do times 0.14. 0.14 means a 14% connection ratio equals what? 2380 times 0 0.14. 333. Okay, times 0 0.33 now. Okay, now that's... 109. 109. 109. So now put the number here. So basically, she should have had a minimum of 85 to 109, you know, appointments made. Does that make sense? Yes. 
Okay, ver- but she only had 62. Yes. Another. So for the last 90 days in a row, she had huge discrepancies from actually making the appointments. Okay. Right? Now, let's just do, finish out the math. Okay, out of the 62 times uh, point, uh, what do you call it? Five, uh, I'm sorry, point 0.62. 62. 62 times point 0.62. 38. Okay, and then she had 31 shows. So she's a little light, but not... Bad, Crazy. Yeah. Okay, now take the 31. Now here's another serious problem. Uh, yeah. Times 0. 0.50. 15 at 0.75. Okay, and yet she only has Under 8. Half, yeah. Okay, so the, the two patterns that we see here prevalent, and this is over a 90 day. I mean, this is very yeah. powerful field intelligence data, no, right? definitely. So over the last 90 days, we've ascertained two major things. One is based on the numbers, uh, she is not making enough appointments. Yes. Okay, and then second, the people that she is getting in are not closing. Yes. Okay, circle of influence versus circle of concern. What do you have control over? What don't you have Set control over? Setting appointments. Something's wrong. So that could be training. She might not be, you know, identifying the prospects, wants, wishes, expectations. She might not be uh, over, you know, overcoming any objections. Well, she I'm might just checking her CRM. I know it was call times as well. Okay, I, I don't talk about yeah. that. Um, she was calling most of the people before five thirty, six p.m. Okay, and I noticed. So, you know, sometimes they would go two, three weeks without a call after six p.m. So okay. we've addressed that. She started working on them, helping her making the evening calls as well, which now, hopefully will influence the set appointments. Now, when you go to sit down with her with a one-on-one, how friggin' powerful is this that you could turn around and do what no, I just this did? I love, yeah. Okay, talk to me as a manager. Why do you like this? What is this, you know, not as a testimony, but like how valuable is this going to be in teaching your people and improving them? Yeah, and there's statistics that actually other people obviously have. You know what I mean? It's not just me telling them, oh, you need to set more appointments. We're actually showing them what the averages are where they should be, and from a low to high, not just one number, this is where you need to be. And the good news about this is that she's doing so many things right. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, for the love of God, she's making 122, yeah. 150, 130 phone calls in a yeah. day? That's insane. So it's not working hard. You know, now she needs to turn around and be able to convert all that opportunity, right? Yep. All right, good. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you.